what had been called home by Nita Mutembi was reduced to ashes by the inferno. But what is more emotionally wrecking is the loss of two souls. That 8 year old Mutembi and a five year old child born to a friend and who was only here to spend a night. A trace of traditional waste beads and burnt containers of water are the only symbols that someone once lived here. Horrifying accounts of banging, screaming, and the cries of Mutembi and the miner shouting for help in the wee hours of Tuesday were relayed by a neighbor and witness who requested anonymity. The source relates how the voices pleading for help inside the raging inferno faded out in his ears. <laughs> I came running with a container and poured water through under the door because the door was locked. The child was calling out mother. I kicked the door until it fell and when I went inside I realized that there is also a zinc plate which divided the kitchen and the bedroom. At the time I was communicating with them while trying to find a way. I got a stick which I used to remove the zinc plate until I managed to get into the room but the heat was intense. The child was still shouting and crying, I am here, please get me. But by this time, Mutembi had gone silent. While I was searching for the child, one of the sink plates fell, and I had to step back. And unfortunately, a few seconds later, the child's voice too faded out. The situation is made worse by the lack of water in the informal settlements, where people walk up to 10 kilometers to fetch water, making it difficult for people to have water to put out fires such as these. Inaccessible roads also make it difficult to mount a rescue mission in time as part of this mountainous area can in most cases only be accessed by vehicles with four-wheel drive. I was uh, thinking only to have the fire brigade mobile on that side because fire brigade is too far to come and help. Even with the water tips is too far, there is no water tip. This week alone, fire was responsible for the destruction of five shacks in the Samora Marshall constituency, leaving many families homeless, if not perished, in the infernos. The family of Huda Kok is one, and they have lost everything, including their vehicle. A family of five now lives in the open in a small tent offered to them by a good Samaritan. It is suspected that most of these fire incidences were caused by candles.